What Junior can do, how he can kind of talk over again. I mean, he scored eight quick ones. I have to get 13 to go on. I mean, I think I still got 11 to take it. Oh, oh definitely. Uh, Junior's a smart player. Uh, you know, he'll be able to play like this for a long time. Uh, but just came out aggressive, you know. He obviously probably had a, you know, won a shot for a little bit tonight, you know. A lot of emotions for him, probably playing here um, against us. And uh, he played well. And he was just playing like Jameer plays, and being aggressive, shooting the ball, making plays for others. And uh, it was tough to guard because he's able to really put on the floor and drive and create. Um, you know, the, 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 making the defense help a lot of him, and he's able to make great reads and uh, finding open guys. So uh, he came out hot and uh, was tough to guard. They were 43-12 on you guys. Is it? Frustrating how it kind of goes over the cliff sometimes. I mean, when it goes bad. Yeah, that was not really bad. Uh, just didn't have a response for, that, for their run. I mean, they, they, we started off the game great. I thought we were playing very well. And it just went downhill. And for them, we were really up there. They just playing great basketball, moving the ball, driving, kicking, shooting. You gotta give them credit. They played a, a, a great game. And they just didn't respond to any of their runs. Is there anything further you guys could have done to slow down the way down? I think uh, you know the fouls and uh, him getting to the free throw line early on got him going pretty well. Uh, he was feeling good, made a couple shots, and uh, he, he got uh, you know he was feeling pretty good. So it's tough once a guy gets going like that. Uh, it's tough to, to do anything. And I mean, the, and he kind of had that mismatch against our guards because they had that big lineup, and you know our, our, we had a lot of guys out, so you know, had to play a little smaller, and uh, you know that affected us too, and it made it easier for him a little bit. How big of a factor have the, was the, were the injuries tonight? I mean, Channing kind of, Channing brings some size, missing him right right before tip-off. Any injury, you know, is tough, but at the same time, can't do anything about it. you got to go with what you got. And, uh, you know, we had the uh, guys we had tonight, you know, we were pretty much other than Channing against Portland, you know, we come up with a big win against a great team. Tonight, you know, we just uh, didn't have enough to respond to what Denver did. And, uh, I mean, you can't use injuries as excuses and stuff when you miss guys. You know, and, uh, we're missing five right now. It's not easy. You don't want to see guys out, but it's the way it is, and you got to just do it. How, how do you get the, the defense back to, to where it was when, when James first yeah. first took over? It seems like there's been some slippage a little, little bit lately with the defense. Uh, I think some of it, uh, our turnovers kind of hurt us to where they get a lot of fast break points. Uh, we just got to stick with what we do. You know, the, I try to do my own thing, just do what you know, whatever uh, he puts out there for us to do. Stick what we do, we do what was, what's been working for us, and uh, we'll be fine. So just got to get back to that. Uh, you know, now we'll have a good um, two days to get some good practice in and uh, work on our defense, and I'm sure it'll be much better Wednesday. Were you guys worn out heading into tonight after practice in the last two days? And playing, I think, before that? No. no, no. Thanks, man.